Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over the second out of the three body types, the mesomorph body type. I'm going to be going over what the mesomorph body type is, where it came from. I'm going to give you some visuals and I'm going to teach you how to diet and train to increase performance, build muscle, gain weight, lose weight, etc. So let's get into it. All right, so what is a mesomorph? It's nothing more than a label for a body type that is typically a very strong upper body that can build muscle so easily. These people can look at weights and just build muscle. This is the most desired body type to the opposite sex. The mesomorph body type is the most attractive out of the other body types. Not to say that the other two can't become attractive if they work out or if they build muscle or if they can gain weight or lose weight depending on what body type they are. The ectomorph tends to want to gain weight and build muscle, whereas the endomorph tends to want to lose weight and also maintain or build mu muscle as well. They can all become attractive. Everyone can as long as they are hitting the weights, eating healthy, whole foods, and avoiding junk food and sugar and alcohol altogether. So back to the mesomorph. So where does this even come from? So in the 1940s, an American psychologist by the name of William Sheldon came up with three different body types. That being the endomorph, ectomorph, and today we'll be discussing the mesomorph. So the mesomorph is nothing more than a label to describe a very muscular, very stocky, someone that can put on muscle very easily, someone that can gain weight very easily and also lose weight very easily. A good visual example of a mesomorph body type would be Mike Tyson. If you notice earlier in his career, he's very muscular up in the upper body. He has a very slim waist, he's very strong legs, very stable core. If you watch Mike Tyson fight, he's very quick. What I've noticed about people who are mesomorph body types, they tend to develop fast twitch muscles very quickly. So they tend to be great sprinters, they tend to be very quick on their feet as wrestlers. They tend to be very successful fighters. Another good example would be uh, Joe Rogan as a mesomorph body type. If you ever watch his kicks, not a lot of people know this, he only trains, he doesn't fight professionally. He is a professional in jiu-jitsu, and if you've ever watched him do or perform his kicks, it's been described that his kicks are so powerful that it sounds like gunshots when his leg is making contact with the bags. So although there are a lot of pros of being a mesomorph body type, there are some downsides. Being a mesomorph, you can tend to gain weight very easily, but you can also lose it very quickly. So I don't know if you've noticed that Mike Tyson recently, he tend to put on a lot of weight over the years, but as of recently with his latest fight, and I believe last year, 2021, he uh, actually dropped weight for a fight very quickly, if you notice. This is, this is the great thing about being a mesomorph. Yeah, we tend to put on a little weight over the holidays, but we can lose it right before summertime. This is why a lot of people are so jealous of us and our body type. But like I said, if you watch each of these videos, there's different methods that you can follow to maintain weight or gain weight or lose weight or build muscle, depending on what body type you are. For example, the best diet for a mesomorph would be a high protein, moderate carbohydrate, making sure you're getting cruciferous vegetables, getting your antioxidants from your fruits, making sure that you're training at least three to four times per week, making sure you're getting in your cardio, doing your running, uh, jump rope. Another good cardio would be simply paint, playing basketball, kicking around a soccer ball. It doesn't always have to be jogging on a treadmill or running for miles. There's plenty of different ways you can get in your cardio. Just like all the other body types need to be making sure you get in your, your macros, which is your proteins, carbohydrates, and your fat. Other than that, that's about it. That's all you really need to know about the mesomorph body type. These strategies and methods, you can stay lean, you can maintain muscle, you can maintain your weight all 365 days a year. And that's all folks. Make sure you stay tuned for the last body type, which is the endomorph type body type I'll be explaining next. And we'll go more deeper into that. Make sure you watch the ectomorph body type if you have not. Also share with a friend if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, my friends, have a good one.